You guys didn't go to City Hall tonight? Well, yeah, why not? Yeah. But that's what they ask, where are we gonna go? Well, we're going to City Hall. You know, that's why you guys that's what the city is saying as everybody. Because I heard that they're gonna give it uh, houses only the people have a uh, a DMV California. I'm Mexican. It's just, and I don't have a D California and it's not fair. Yeah. And you know what about the people Mexican they don't have a D California? We can stay on the street. Yeah. And plus that when they come and help another people, they didn't even live in the streets, they take our places. You know what I'm saying? They wait the time when the people help, KB apartment or whatever, you know, they help. Yeah. They show up and then they all, they take it. It's like that, you know, all the time it happening. Just that, you know, Mexicans, I think that's discrimination. Discrimination. Discrimination against Mexicans? Yes. Because why would uh, basically uh, with no ID make uh, California ID? You want uh, California? I don't have ID in California. I have so, a matricula, you know, consular. Yeah. And that is not enough. That's not enough. So what do you think the majority of these people are gonna go right now? Next street. Oh, the next street. Oh, the city hall. City hall. Because we are like 100. 500? Yes. So do you think when government uh, gives you guys, gives money or gives the housing, is that going to help the people? Or is it going to be more like dependent on them for the livelihood for the next day too? This, it, it helped for a minute. It didn't help. Yeah. You know, it, it helps, but it's up to us if we continue, you know? Yeah. Because they give you the opportunity and then if you don't see you know, paying it or whatever, you're gonna lose the property. Yeah. You know, and this the city did this part. They give you a place. You don't take care of it, and that is not it. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, I had a place, I work three days a week. Yeah. I also work, I clean, I'm janitor. But that is not enough for me getting a ring. You know, right now. But it would be enough for me to pay the help if they give me an apartment. You know, I heard they're a little cheap. Yeah. I, I would pay that because I know I, I pay, they pay me 360. I could pay it, a, a place like that. But like I said, they, don't, they say Mexicans, but no. So it's $360 a, uh, a, a month. week? A month. And they want you to survive off 360 bucks a month? Yeah, that's why I work right now. Yeah. Yeah, they let me off from my other work. That's why I get them. Not here? Yeah. I, was, I used to live right there a mayor and mono for like a year. So how many of the people do you out here that actually work or do they do they collect AFDC and welfare and social security? Do people out here collect those type of things? Yeah, a lot of people do that. I've been in other people don't. We, we 
collect up our cans. We go work in the fields. Yeah. Like me, I work in the fields. Like him, he work in the fields. You know? So a lot, of, a lot of people out here are willing to work, but they just can't find no jobs? Yeah, because we uh, have tattoos, we look like a gangster, or we uh, used to be in drugs, or you know, black, whatever, or probation. And yeah. They won't give you a, a, a job, or no social security, they won't give you a job. So do you think it would be better, like if they gave you the tools to better yourself so you can stand on your own and you get a job and and and, and, yes. and be part of mainstream society or is it better to just give people welfare, food stamps and, and they get, the, get them dependent on government for their livelihood or is it better to stand on your own and take care of yourself? It's better if you stand on your own and take care of yourself. So do you think you still have that opportunity in America today? Yeah? I have faith, you know, hope. I hope. The only we need are tools, you know, only we need one step and we can get going. Like but, me. Like, like the Red Cross and other organizations, they get a lot of donations from the public. Oh, yeah. Does it actually get to the people at the bottom? Mm -hmm. They come, yeah, yeah. They, they come, come, they keep us some food, clothes, you know, everything, you know. But they're giving you something, are they helping you get out or are they just giving you stuff to keep you right here? Keep you survive here. They just keep you to, to survive out here, but they're not helping you get out. No, it's, no. Yeah. Half of the people is is uh is uh, how you say uh, they, I don't know how to explain. Other other people is very uh, easy that way. Yeah. Easy life. Yeah. Put it that way. And other people wouldn't think that. Yeah. A lot of people are here because they want to be here. They used to. Yeah. They used to like, get help. I like mean, I don't get help at all. Yeah. I have not I can have no food stuff, nothing. I don't get nothing. Only what I work and then what I uh, people give me. Yeah. Well, I hope the best for you. And always remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to search for it. No, I don't. Are you, are you with the media? Uh, yeah, I do my own uh, reporting. You don't, have any, you don't have a badge on. You got to get out. I don't have a badge on? Yeah, a media badge? Yeah. This is a, a work site? Yeah. So you, you got to get going, brother, just for your safety. Oh, yeah, it's always bulldozers. for my safety. Yeah, it's for bulldozers. If you had a media badge, then I'd give you a hard hat and have you come in here. If you don't have a media yeah. badge, you don't live here? No, I don't live okay. here, actually. You got to go. Yeah. No, it's understandable. It's just that. And see, that's the thing about it is that, see, in America not, today... Yeah, I'm not arguing with you. No, I'm no, just, no, I'm just I, saying I, you gotta I, go. Yeah, no, yeah. Go. So this is what happens when you do stuff for people and not help them to stand on their own. You give them food stamps. You give them welfare. You get them dependent on government. You get them dependent on another man for their livelihood. You don't teach them to stand on their own. You just get them to be dependent. And then when you're, they're done using you for whatever purpose, just like the middle class, they need to be eradicated.